Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. It is Stephanie. If you are new, welcome. It's good to have you here. Um, I'm just getting ready this morning to, sorry, I'm bending down to get something, <laughs> knocking something out of the cupboard. Um, I'm just getting ready this morning. Today we have a very late, very overdue family Christmas to attend with my stepmom and my siblings. So I'm just getting ready for that and then I have some baking to do and an appetizer to make. So we're gonna hang out together and get those things done. So for now, I'm just gonna put a little bit of makeup on. So today I'm going to be making this pineapple sunshine cake and I got the recipe from Pinterest from a person named Darlene Crawford. So I'm going to try this cake out and it's very simple, it doesn't call for much. So just some vegetable oil, some eggs, can of crushed pineapple and um, it says yellow cake mix and I think that's what they call it in the United States but here in Canada they call it golden cake mix. So that's what I'm going to use and then the topping to like the icing of it is just some vanilla pudding mix, Cool Whip topping and another crushed pineapple 8 inch can. So I'm going to get started on that now and we'll see how it turns out. So the first thing I'm going to do is preheat my oven to 340 degrees because my oven actually runs a little too hot and I don't want the edges of my cake to burn. So I'm going to do 340 degrees and keep an eye on it. So I've got my KitchenAid mixer out on my counter and the first thing I'm going to do is add the cake mix into the bowl of the mixer. and. Then I'm going to add four eggs is the next ingredient. So I just broke those open into a little Pyrex measuring cup so that I don't get any shells in my cake mix. And then I put it on low speed on the mixer for a little bit to get that incorporated. While I measure out a half a cup of vegetable oil and slowly add that into the mixer. And then I take a little break and scrape down the sides of the bowl so it all gets incorporated. And then the last ingredient for the cake is the 8 ounce can of crushed pineapple and that um, is with the juice so that it keeps the cake moist so you have to add the whole can and the juice in there and then I let that mix for a little bit and that is all for the cake batter. So now I'm just pouring in my cake batter into a 9 by 13 pan. The one that I have is glass and I just greased it with some olive oil and a paper towel and then you put that in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes at 350 degrees. But like I said before, mine is a little bit cooler because I know my oven runs hot. Now to make the topping, you just need that full container of Cool Whip. I use the Great Value brand, a full can of the pineapple crushed with the juice and then also an envelope of vanilla pudding mix and then just whip that together and that is the topping and then I just covered that with some plastic wrap and put it in the fridge for a little while to set up while my cake was cooling.
Next up, I'm making a pico de gallo recipe for an appetizer. So it's kind of like a salsa, but it's a little less watery. And I got this recipe from allrecipes.com by a person named Rachel Love. So the first thing I'm doing is just halving my Roma tomatoes and taking the seeds out so it won't be as watery. And then the next ingredient it calls for is the juice of half a lime. So I just used a fork to get the lime juice out as much as possible from the one half. And then it calls for a half of a red onion. So I just cut that into small pieces before adding it to the food processor. And the recipe also calls for a half of jalapeno pepper, a pinch of garlic powder, a pinch of cumin and salt and pepper to taste. So I left out the jalapeno and the cumin and the garlic powder because I didn't have those items and I don't like it too spicy. And then I also made two batches. So the second batch has cilantro in it because half of my family members don't like cilantro and the other half do. And now I'm moving on to washing the dishes, getting all that cleaned up after all my meal prep, and then I'm gonna clean my kitchen. Next up, I'm gonna give my sink a good scrubbing. So I just put some Dawn dish soap in the bottom of each of the sink bowls. And then I got this scrub brush that has stiffer bristles and a longer handle just for scrubbing up the sink. And it works really well and gets it nice and shiny again and gets off anything that might be stuck on there too. I'm just using this pine disinfectant spray that I buy in bulk from a local supplier. So I just kind of decant it and put it in with some water and dilute it in this plastic spray bottle that I got from Dollarama, I think. So I just use that to clean off my countertops. And then I also used it to wipe down my appliances. So I have a black stove and a black dishwasher, but a stainless steel fridge. And I feel like even on the black, I constantly have like spills and drips and fingerprints to wipe off so I was getting that handled today and especially on the fridge the stainless steel shows everything every fingerprint every smudge so I feel like I really need to tackle this every single day of course I don't but when I can see it there it just drives me crazy so today was one of those days that I just got after it with that same pine disinfectant and it came out really nice Now moving on using my Dyson to give a quick vacuum to get up anything that like crumbs or any little powders or anything that came onto the floor. And then I'm going to use my shark steam mop and I just put water in the chamber from the tap and then I sprayed the floor with that same pine disinfectant. So you can use other products on your floors to mop with the shark steam mop, but you just can't put those products in the actual chamber. So only water goes in the chamber, otherwise you're gonna break the, the mop.
So here there is something stuck behind the garbage can on the baseboard of the wall and I don't know what it was but I'm sure this happens all the time like anytime your garbage can is next to the wall stuff is going to get splashed. So I just tilted my steam mop pad up against the baseboard to use this steam to loosen up whatever was stuck on there and it worked pretty good but then I still needed to go and scrub it a little bit with a Clorox wipe but I eventually did get it off so I don't know what it was some kind of splash it was gross. <laughs> Now that my cake is cooled, I'm just putting the topping on it. So you just kind of squish it on so that it completely covers, but it doesn't have to be perfect because there's pineapple chunks in it. It's supposed to be a little bit rustic looking. And this recipe turned out so good. My family loved it and they also loved the pico de gallo. So those recipes will be linked down below and I strongly encourage you to try them. Thank you so much for watching and for being here today. Don't forget to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.